Hi, um, welcome to I Can Stutterman week four. Um, this week I'm filming in the car because the house is full of kids and it's a bit loud, so I thought I'd film in the car this week. Um, firstly, I'd like to say a massive fact that thank you. The views have gone up a lot in the last week. Again, I appreciate that we're in lock there's lockdown and obviously there's not a lot else to do, but I really appreciate you, you, you guys are taking the time to watch the videos that I've made. The whole point of these is of these are if no one watches it, it's kind of defeats the point, but that's great. Um, the topic I've picked for this week is social events, which I'm sure, again, like me, if you have a stut stutter, they can be quite aw there's awkward. And you can also f find them quite hard. Um, so I thought I'd share a few of the moments that I've had, a few things that I find hard, and hopefully some of you can relate to this. And maybe actually knowing you're not the only one that has this might help you and make you feel a bit that's better about it. Um, the first part I'd like to talk about is going to the bar to order a drink. For everyone else, obviously maybe the easiest thing in the world and the nicest thing that you can do, but I know certain certain words that begin with certain let there's letters I find hard. Um, if I went to the, the bar and asked for a beer, I'd be fine. Um, if I go to the bar and ask for a Peroni, I find it hard because peas I find quite hard. Um, my wife drinks Malibu, there's Malibu I find quite hard and I don't know if like some of you guys, if I'm here on my own and I say things it's not too bad but as I'm walking up to the bar it's actually in my head, I, I start to tell myself what if you should struggle to get that word out um, and then obviously the bar's full, there's 20 pit, there's people there and you can't even say a drink that you want and you actually end up making yourself the stutter for the fact that you're making yourself aware that you might struggle to say the word it's obviously like a, a snowball thing it's a bit weird but obviously i know that i'm i'm sure that there's some of you get the same things um again self-help for this things i've said in the past and i still believe is the biggest thing is take your time be slow as i said if you need it if it's like peroni look at the word as peroni like the breakdown i say peroni and if you in your head feel like you're breaking the word down into three parts you're if you said it to someone they won't even there's notice which is the main thing but you've in your head made it easier for you to say you've took your time you've said the word and it's fine um i think still a big thing as well is people don't care even if you do the stutter and you struggle to say it it's fine but i just want to obviously I know these are things which I see as a big deal, but if I explain it to someone that didn't understand the way that we all feel, they'd be like, it's fine. So, um, speeches, obviously speeches are hard for a person without a stutter. Everyone can be nervous. Um, I am my wedding day. The thing I was dreading the most was my speech. And not because I'm shy, because I'm not shy at all, but obviously the stutter and thinking, oh, I've got to stand up in front of a hundred people. And, Weird enough, on that day, I didn't actually stutter at all and I was absolutely fine. Um, but work things I find much harder um, when it's people that maybe don't know you. Um, so I suppose in a weird way, the same things relate, the same ways to try and solve it relate to all of the situations that we have, whether it's dating, social, work, home, is really taking your time, breathing well, because it's your breathing that obviously makes the stutter worse and don't get me wrong i'm not just trying to say i still suffer from all from all of this i just want i just believe if we can talk about about it as people that suffer from the same things obviously we might be able to help each other this other but um the breathing breaking down the words has been the biggest thing that i found helps and um, that was one thing that, that i was taught of if it's a longer word um in your head breaking it down into like four parts like i said Peroni, it's not a particularly long word, but I, peroni. So you say peroni. So in your head, you've said it in three, but obviously a normal this person wouldn't have noticed the difference with with that. Um, it's trying to stay calm because when you're calm and as confident, stutter doesn't really seem to come out at all. And just like I said, if you make yourself there's realised met there's mainly that there's absolutely nothing wrong with having the stutter, and if you do, it's absolutely fine. You can recover you can still get your words out. Actually, just that mindset stops actually most of the other pro problems. But 
yeah, I'm trying to think of other so the social things. It's family events, personally, I don't find too bad because normally with people I know, and they are the few pe there's people that know I have a stutter, and just because they know that, I don't find it as hard. So one thing I could maybe try and push all of the you guys to try it is if you don't have a bad stutter like me, but have one, and I openly admit, I'm not just trying to say that everything's is easy because I've tried to hide mine for my whole life from everyone else outside of my household work everyone um obviously I'm aware that people might notice but I don't talk about it and I'm trying to build the confidence just to go and say look guys this is my job just to make you aware I've got a stu the stutter there'll be times that I st struggle to say things but 80% of the time I'm fine and by what's the word um taking the elephant out of the room everything's easy but I haven't actually had the confidence yet to do that i haven't been able just to go into a new workplace or a new member of staff say look just to make you aware it's not a big deal but i've got a, stu a stutter so if i struggle to get his words out that's why and if you guys can find the confidence to do that absolutely great please ta just tell me and like i said i'd really really like these people to comment and tell me how they feel about things if this has helped anyone at all literally any person that's watched this if they said just knowing that someone else goes through the same things has helped and maybe a few of the tips that I've got help. Um, I'd really, really like to know. Please like and share. I'd like to share this as much as I can because I want to get out there. It's not just for people with a stutter. If there's anything at all that you feel you find hard about yourself, you find hard to talk about, hard to deal with, um, ev everyone's got the something they find hard to deal with. And I don't mean that as a bad thing. I mean, as a good thing because we're all di it's different and all these little things whether you think you say you've got a stu the stutter and um, you don't like the way you look anything like that embrace it because if we didn't have these things we wouldn't be us we'd all be the same and all of these little things are what make us us i just think sometimes it's really hard to talk about things and um, there's an advert on at the moment not the same thing but lloyd's bank saying the money things people don't talk about there's money and actually if you did it would make things as easier. Well, I actually believe that works with everything. I didn't talk about my stutter for probably 25 years. And now I do. It's getting bet there's better. So I, I think that's quite a good way to deal with these things. And I wanted to do this. Um, I can stutter man is my thing. I'm going to do it every week and wherever there's people watch or not and just try and get out there because a stuttering is not a really a spoke about thing. I just want to get it out there to see if, if I can help. There's anyone at all that's been in the same things as me. I appreciate quite a lot of guys or there's women that have a stutter is much worse than mine. And I'd like to know how you thought there's fine things. And if any of the things that I've said are enough to help you, if not, I'll try to find more ways to help. Um, as you've probably told by the videos I've done, I talk a lot and talk fast, which is the worst thing. Talking slow helps. Breaking your words down helps. And then the confidence thing helps, but you need to do these things, I suppose, to start to build up your co this confidence. Um, like I said, I hope you you can um, relate to some of these things and it helps you at all. And please, 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 anybody that's comment on anything else I'd like me to discuss, any situations you'd like me to discuss, any things that you find hard, any ways you overcome things, if we can all share and we can all talk, just talk about the things, obviously I'm always up for learning more things to help me. Like I said, my personal biggest struggle with a stutter is the phone. When I make phone calls at work, I honestly do find it quite hard. Um, that's when I seem to stutter the most. If there's if there's anyone could help me, I'd really, really appreciate that. And just like I've said, if there's any ways that I can help any of you guys at all, ask um, if you want me not to talk about it on here. I can um, there's answer it pro there's private if you want me to make it a discussion on the the videos on a weekly basis. I will do, and then hopefully. The more and more there's people that watch this to share it and the more that ask things and we talk about things we can all just help each other there's other more i just think especially through lockdown it's a good time to do this because potentially we've all got a bit more time on our hands um again take safe thanks a lot for watching this i really really ap appreciate that you guys just taking the time to watch this like share and there's cut there's comment and let's make some new discussions for next week thanks a lot take care bye